Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, sum trick with numbers, difference trick with numbers, letters for digits and how divisibility rules work. Now this lesson is going to be very interesting. So we are not going to really learn any theoretical concept or we are not going to solve uh, algebraic equations or so here we are going to learn about some very nice mathematical tricks. Now, uh, have you ever played puzzles with your friends or have ever uh, your teacher played a puzzle in the class where maybe the teacher asked you to think of a number. Now, you know, these kind of tricks often seem to be uh, very magical. So we will learn the mathematical trick behind these kind of uh, tricks. So let's say your teacher asked you to think of a number. Now, there are three students. Now, all of these students would think of different numbers, right? Okay. Now, let us say that this boy, let, let's name them A, B and C. So A thought of a number, say 23. B thought of a number 12 and C thought of a number 58. So all of them thought of different numbers. Okay, now, now please do remember that they just thought of the number. They did not tell the number to their teacher. Now the teacher asked them to reverse the digits of that number. So in this case, if you see two and three are the digits which make the number 23. So the moment you reverse the digits, it becomes 32. Here when you reverse the digit, it becomes 21. And here when you reverse the digit, it becomes 85. Okay, so they, they did this also. And then the teacher asks them to add these two numbers. So basically the teacher has asked them to add 23 and 32. So when he did that, he got the result 55. So B also did the same and he found the result to be 33. And C also did the same and she found the result to be 143. Okay. Now the teacher ask them to divide the sum by 11. So basically you divide 55 by 11, you divide 33 by 11 and you divide 143 by 11. So how much do you get in this case? You get 5, here you get 3 and how much do you get in this case? Here you get 13. So they did this as well. Now Nothing of this is known to the teacher, right? Because they are doing it on their own secretly. So the teacher doesn't know which number A, B or C thought of. But now you see, surprisingly, even though the teacher doesn't know what's going on in their mind, but the teacher could tell that the remainder for all of them would be zero. And that is exactly the case. So if you see 55 divided by 11, 5 is the quotient. Why 5 is the question? Because 55 is completely divisible by 11. So what is the remainder? So the remainder is 0. Here also 33 is totally divisible by 11. So the remainder is 0. Here also 143 is completely divisible by 11 and the remainder is 0. So you see that's surprising. So now when something like this happens with us, we often feel that oh wow that's magical. My teacher came to know what I thought of. But do you know how your teacher comes to know what's going in your mind? That's because there is a simple mathematics behind this, behind this magical trick. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about these kind of simple tricks, which, which is not only interesting, but this can also be uh, nice games for you to play with your friends. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.